What do we see in front of us? Cars. What colour are these cars? Grey. Grey. Silver. Grey. Black. And another black one. Coming the other way. Grey. Silver. Black. Black. Grey. Silver. Uh, black. Silver. Silver. Black. And black. Now I know why people tend to have grey or black or silver or white cars it's because it's less of a gamble when it comes to reselling I think. the four courts tend to prefer them because they're more likely to sell and if that's what's on the four court that's what people will buy very few people will seek out an unusual color and even if you look at the blue cars they're usually a really dull blue and there's, there's just nothing really that's exciting about a blue car or a red car or anything else for that matter if it looks like it doesn't really need to be washed and that could be the other point as well people like cars that don't look any better for being washed and it's rather tedious and what it means is that there are more and more new cars around that don't get washed and everything just looks dirty all the time and maybe part of that is because you know we have a culture of not even washing our own cars any longer everybody just takes them to those uh, hand car washes which we obviously know are better than the uh, automated car washes that scratch up all the paint everywhere but it's still not being involved in your own car um, probably stops you from being all that interested in it to be absolutely honest a few miles down the road and it's exactly the same thing still Black, silver, grey, black. One behind me coming up is black, and then there's a white one, and a rather dull blue. People used to avoid black cars because they're difficult to keep clean. They're not actually any more difficult to keep clean than any other colour, but they show the dirt up. But these days, even that doesn't matter because all we see is uh, dusty looking cars anyway. So that's the colour it should be. If you've got a shiny black car, no, 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 that, that's not good because that draws too much attention to itself. So maybe that's why black cars are so popular now because there's just a culture of, well, just don't bother washing it anyway. I'm going to have to drive a very long way before I see a car that is any more interesting than what I'm seeing right now. The thing is, this colour thing, I reckon, is a reflection on the personalities of the people that actually drive them as well because these days everyone's becoming a bit the same aren't they there are very few proper individuals proper characters about um, and I blame Australia for that Australia and soap operas where suddenly the whole cast just is basically the same person in a different outfit that's how cars have become nobody wants to stand out so when you do see a car that's a different colour like there's some Jags and um, there's a couple of Peugeots and Renaults uh, that have some very interesting colours but you don't see them very often the owners of those cars must feel unbelievably self-conscious and I bet loads of them buy these cars thinking that's a lovely colour and then drive it around thinking oh people are looking at me I don't like it I don't like it it's not good that's what they're doing. I think the worst cars for this particular uh, trend has to be either Volkswagen or Audi. Probably Audi actually. It kind of suggests that Audi drivers really do just want to blend into the background and not be noticed. So when you do see the occasional A3 or whatever, it's been wrapped in orange or bright yellow, it stands out like something you really don't want to see standing out oh there's a theory for you Audi drivers everybody knows that Audi drivers are terribly aggressive in their manner with the occasional few that are absolutely not they must think I'm not going to drive my Audi like that because everybody already thinks I'm a not bedford for actually having it in the first place so maybe that's part of the part of the reason why these colors are so popular 
and a car that's going to be driven so badly because you won't remember the car. All you can remember is that it was an Audi and you probably don't even remember what color it was. You know, it's going to be gray or black or silver or white and that's it. It wipes from your mind really quickly. So yeah, the occasional Audi is driven really, really carefully. I've been behind a few and those drivers must actually like the car but don't like its reputation and do whatever they can to uh, not fall into that particular stereotype. So my hat goes off to those people uh, if I was actually wearing a hat. And that's enough for today, I think.